All right, everybody, and welcome back to Phantasmagoria. When last we left off, we discovered some strange new visitors at the Carnivash Estate, and we diddled around in town a little bit and found a book, and we took it to Malcolm, and he was as helpful as Lester, which is to say, not helpful at all. Though to be fair, Adrian claimed nothing strange has been happening in the house. I whatever. Whatever. So, we're going to be getting into chapter 4 in this episode, where more stuff will happen. Because that's what makes an interesting game, is stuff. But enough of me talking, let's go ahead and hop back into things. Oh, we changed clothes. I didn't think that was possible. Friday, October 21st, 7 a.m. Dawn attempts a new career as a hairstylist. Those plaid boxers, though. Lester is judging me again. got dark rather quickly. was the infamous rape scene in Phantasmagoria. According to Roberta Williams, that was really the, uh, the point where Adrian just completely knew that Dawn was not his normal self, so I suppose that's the point of the scene. Though it's never mentioned again, it's kinda, almost feels like a cheap shock, I'll be honest. Anyway. That bit of business aside, we have stuff to do. What do you think, Lester? Someone has seen everything on this island. You? Let's make our way into the conservatory. We gotta check on Dawn's Impressionist paintings. 
don't make much of an impression on me, let me tell you. It looks... I don't know what that looks like. The paint is still wet. Well, let's go ahead and see what else is going on in the house. And by that I mean, let's bother Dawn even more. What is a day without bothering Dawn? No, you cannot bond bother Dawn today. Let's go see what's going on in here. Sparklies. Okay, we got on the stairs. Going on faster. So, let's see what this is. I found this in your room. Where did you get it? Why, Zoltan, what do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. Gaston gave it to you, didn't he? No. I bought it when we were in London last month. I'm not a fool, Marie. I've been watching. When he looks at you, you smile and blush. And he's always hovering around you backstage. But you're wrong, Zoltan. He's just a friend. That's all. I don't want him here tomorrow night. But he's your prop man. He has a right to be at your party. Please, don't accuse me of this. Believe me, Zoltan. Lordy. I love you. Only you. I want to believe you. I do. But I don't. What the it disappeared. No free antiques for you, Adrian. So that is the worst voice actress in the entire game. She was the one reading the letter earlier. The one with the fart noises in the background. Yeah, she's dreadful in every scene that she's in. She makes all everyone else in this game look brilliant. Which is a challenge, believe me. So, in our last episode, we saw a strange building somewhere on the island. And we want to know more about that strange building. Hey, I've been waiting for you. I'm sorry, Harriet. I forgot all about it. You ready to work? Yeah, ma'am. Tell me what to do. Well, let's see. Kitchen dishes need washing. Our bed needs to be made. Um, bathroom needs cleaning. Furniture needs polishing. And um, this floor needs sweeping. <laughs> I'll get right on it. Anything else? No. I have a question, Harriet. When I was in the tower room, I saw a little building in the woods on the eastern side of the island. Do you know anything about it? I've never been in those woods. The trail's washed out. Cyrus has, though. Go ask him. Okay, I will. Thanks. Anything else? Yeah, one more thing. Could you please empty the waste baskets? Yep. Anything else? Go away before I find more jobs for you. Oh, by the way, uh, I see you carrying around that newspaper. You want me to throw it away for you? Please, would you? That means you don't need the newspaper anymore. Actually, you never really needed it to begin with. Anyway, I'm sure today holds more great fortune. This music has gotten quite a bit more sinister since we first got here. Keep your secrets to yourself. Trust no one? I'm sure it's nothing. Thank you. 
How about we have a look at the old liquor cabinet? With our comically small bottle of absinthe. More missing? I will say, whoever's drinking that's a lightweight. I probably would have downed the whole thing in a single night, but that's just me. America's favorite cat. How you doing, Spaz? Hey, Spaz. You're the world's hey. greatest kitty. I want to hammer the cat. Well, we're going to go talk to Cyrus, but before we do that, we do have a few things we can do. If you recall, in the last episode, we talked to Harriet about a tarot reading, and we should go see her about that and maybe follow her up on it a little bit. Because I want to read my tarots. Adrian. Yes? You know those tarot cards you give me? Uh-huh. Well, it's time to do a reading right now. Right here. Well, okay, I guess. Okay, well. Have you been keeping those in your pants for the last day or so? They probably Pick smell. Eight cards. All right. I'm no expert, but I don't think this is really how you read tarot cards. Mm. And again, there are quite a few different spreads. Oh dear. Mm -mm. This don't look good. Well, what is it? Well, of course, it's, it's all in the interpretation. Interpretation. But... Come on, Harriet. Well, I'd say you're fucked. All right. <clears throat> this card in the middle is the fool. And that's you. What are you implying? The fool is surrounded by all these seven other energies. Now this card, that's the lovers. That means, that means that the fool is going to have to make a choice in the area of love. Now normally that ain't necessarily so bad, but all these other cards surrounding it, they, you know... Well... <clears throat> oh, these two cards. That's justice and strength. And that's good. Cause the fool can use them... to help out with... rational solutions and a balanced mind. And courage, strength, and determination. Yeah. And? Sounds like I'm heading off to battle. You might be. Take a look at these other four cards here. The worst four cards in the deck. You know how to pick them. The hanged man. The tower. <laughs> the hangman. A sacrifice is gonna happen. The tower. The breakdown of existing forms. The devil. He brings evil. Death. A painful transformation is gonna happen.
So what's the verdict? You fucked. You should move to Kansas. It's hard to know, actually. Because you know it's all in the interpretation. It's that interpretation that gets you. Off the top of my head, I'd say that you're going to have some big trouble with your hubby. Evil's got him. He's gonna change. I'm sure it's nothing. You're gonna have to muster all the strength and courage that you have to fight it. There's gonna be a sacrifice. And then you're gonna have to use your wits to win. Well, thanks, Harriet. That was very interesting. Now, I know that you think that this is all just a bunch of hogwash. Now, Harriet, I really appreciate you trying to help me. But I just don't believe in this stuff. Well, now, all I God know damn it, Adrian. There's some bad You're trouble fucking scully. Right here. You just better watch your backside. Fine. I will. Okay, well, that's enough backside watching for today. Let's pester Harry a little bit more. I'm sure she has something enlightening to say about the interpretation. Don't Harry? Work. Yeah. Um, uh, never mind. Nothing. That was enlightening. Fascinating, Adrian. All right, we got shit to do. But, I'm going to delay on you guys one more time. We're going to head into town right quick to talk to Luann Plata. And if she has nothing interesting to say, I'm going to cut this part out of the video and we'll just get on with things. But I do think she has some new things to say today. Alright, so, Cyrus. Let's go see what old Cyrus is up to. Yeah, you stupid cat. Play with you is all. I just want to fucking kill you. Yeah, you stupid key cat. I run away and all I want to do is play. Gotcha. Cyrus. You ever played stick up the butt? Cyrus, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. I'm just fucking your cat. What were you doing with my cat? Why is your dick out? I, I, I would do, I would do playing with it is all. Cyrus, don't play with him. Okay? So, Cyrus. God damn it, Cyrus, where'd you go? I know for a fact he's not over here. There's literally no reason to come to this screen ever in the entire game. Ah, I see you materialized. And you brought some wood with you, too. Uh, Cyrus? Huh? When I was in the town room, I could see a little building in the woods. I was wondering, have you seen it? Yeah. It's it, it over there. Well, can you show me the way? No. Well, the trail's all washed out. Now, usually what I do, I just jump over it. But where is it, Cyrus? Over there. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I'll show you. Come on. Thanks. So, okay, this is where the game kind of drops the ball a little bit. If you really didn't know where to go, and I've watched some blind LPs of this game before because I have no life. Uh, it doesn't tell you where you need to go. So, even though you're following Cyrus, you would really have no idea where you're supposed to be. But this is obviously where you need to go. Hey, Cyrus, how's it going? Oh, there you are. I've been waiting for you. I'm sorry, Cyrus. I tried to hurry. Oh, that's okay. Uh, see? There it is. Just like I told you. Come on. I don't know, Cyrus. I'm kind of a pussy. Oh, I don't know, Cyrus. Looks kind of dangerous. Isn't there another way? No. Oh, look out! I, I can fix it.
We cut away so we don't have to animate it. Whoa! He has the strength of pointy man. Oh my god, Cyrus! There you go. You're amazing, Cyrus. I can't believe you did that. Of course I did. I'm strong. See? Wow. <laughs> Boy, you are strong. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, Ma always tells me that that I'm more muscles than brains. <laughs> yeah, well, your mother was right. I would just slap him in the face while you're at it. Heck. It ain't nothing. Cyrus! Oh. I gotta go. Well, that was enlightening. Apparently we have the fucking Hulk here working for us, trying to fuck our cat. Anyway, are you going to stare at the tree all day? Can I, can I have control again? Thank you, that was really enlightening. So we have some more areas to explore on our ever-expansive property that we didn't bother to scout out at all before buying it. Couldn't Bob Tompkins have, like, given us a tour by boat? Maybe, like, get a Speedo? Not a Speedo. <laughs> Maybe, like, get a, um, a Sea Dew or something and just, like, drive us around out here? I don't know. It seems pertinent before buying a fucking piece of property to look at it for more than five minutes. Now, I could bitch about that for hours. I guess, you know, it's a game. I'm supposed to enjoy it and not, you know, think about it too much. Look, a sparkly thing. We must collect it. Ah, oh, it's a letter opener. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Looks like a washer. Lester, tell me of this. A tarnished brass lens piece. I see. Ah, get it? Because it's a lens piece. This looks like a greenhouse that's not so green no more. We need to investigate. Well. I think it needs some renovations. These plants have seen better days. Looks like they haven't been watered in like... at least a couple weeks. A trowel. We must touch it. I always wanted to be a gardener. Uh, hello? Why are you gardening in my greenhouse? Oh, this is a vision. Zoltan, what are you doing here? Do you want something? Why did you... Sultan. Sultan. Leave me to my plants. This is not the proper use of a trial. <laughs> yep, that's been in some bad places. Well, that was Hortensia. I think we know who that apron in the urn belongs to. (laughs) 
you know, because I'm a sick son of a bitch, I've been spending about a week trying to think of a good pun for this situation. But, you know, it's not hard to make a good joke about a trowel and dirt in the mouth. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not that clever. What's in the pot? Oh. I guess that's where Hortensia ended up. She got planted. That's enough trauma for one day. Let's get the hell out of here. Clearly the game wants you to notice this telemoscope. That's not how you use a telescope, Adrian. I can't see anything. Oh, it's missing a lens piece. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? I so happen to have a lens piece right here. Now what do we see? Another window there by the tower room. This house has a lot of hidden rooms, it seems. And locked doors. And, you know, fucked up shit. Well, we must investigate this new room. Because every time you investigate something new, it turns out well for you. Well, Adrian, having not had enough traumas for one day, decides to go investigate more things in the creepy old house. And, of course, we're going to do so. I wonder who that could be. Pizza delivery! There's Cyrus. No doubt trying to kill my cat some more. Don't behead my cat, Cyrus. I mean, okay. Good. Have you seen my cat, Cyrus? No, oh, that animation seemed kind of fluid. I'm a little impressed by that. So, what do we have over here? We have a truck that we can't investigate. Although, uh, Bob did mention sending out a phone repair guy the last time we spoke to his charming self. Adrian doesn't even care about the new person in her house. You must be installing the phone. Hi. Yeah, hi, Mike. Your uh, caretakers let me in. Oh, great. I'm going nuts without a phone. Yeah, I can understand that. This is quite a place you got here, man. Adrian. Yeah, it is quite a place, isn't it? I better get back to work. Okay. Well, that's enough small talk. You are installing the high-speed internet, yes? I want to be able to torrent the best of porn. So we have a new room to investigate. Adrian! Who is that woman? Um... Who is she? That's Harriet. 
I don't want her around our house. So you had better get rid of her. <laughs> Don being, I mean, kind of logical, but also a douche. Well, we're not getting rid of Harriet, so let's go ahead and see what's up in here in the tower room. This wall always did look a little suspicious. A hollow wall. If the house designers were intelligent, they would have made it look like the other wall, but they did not. They made it out of an entirely separate material. More uses for a hammer. And now we have to watch Adrian slowly destroy part of their house. What if she did this and there was nothing back there? It was just like some insulation and wiring and shit. And then she just made like a giant hole in her wall for no reason. It's just a thought, you know. Shit happens. So yeah, we're uh, we're tearing a hole in the wall. It's, we're exploring stuff and doing things and learning new mysteries. All kinds of stuff. Very slowly, I might add. We're, we're, we're tearing this wall down. This wall will not defeat us. It will not give us diabetes. I really have nothing to say about this. You, you see what's going on here. What am I going to say about it? It seems Adrian is finally satisfied with her gaping hole in the wall. And we may now... Put our hammer back in our inventory and explore further. Oh, we got all kinds of shite in here to look at. Let's start off with the obvious thing. I'm sure this is just meant to be like a... an olive press. Not some sort of weird torture device. So the real question I have to ask is, Adrian, are you still convinced nothing weird is going on in your house? And these are the pictures of Carnos, former wives. Not really a spoiler. Don't ask me their names. I don't remember. I think this is the one that got the trowel to the face. We have a mirror. Adrian cannot help but admire herself. She thinks that the torture device really accentuates her natural beauty. Her shirt was not tucked properly into her pants. This disturbed Adrian greatly. Okay, so you're all wondering about the goddamn chest. I know, it's where you're supposed to go. It's the adventure game in you, or adventure in you. You're drawn to that chest. You want to know what's in there. Oh, the hook shot. No, we just have a diary. September 14th, 1889. Dear Diary, 
I grow increasingly fearful of Zoltan. I feel the burn of his eyes upon me as he watches my every move. Did my little girl have such fears? Did she suffer when he snuffed out her baby life? How could people believe him when he said it was an accident? It was no accident. But, dear diary, Zoltan wasn't always like this. I remember, not so long ago, when he was loving and gay. <laughs> he was overjoyed when Sophia was born. I know, I remember. But after his trip to Paris last year, he changed. Something happened to him. I don't know what. Now, all I have left are my plants. I spend most of my time in my greenhouse. Didn't work out as for you. Away as I can get from Zoltan's ever watchful eyes. So, for those of you not paying attention, it seems that Zoltan uh, started to slowly grow more and more aggressive towards his wife at the time. Much like the way Dawn is behaving. And we saw how that worked out for poor Hortensia here. So we can only assume that maybe Dawn will become violent with us. So, see what else we got in here. It's a locket. The child's laughter tells me it's a child's photo, but I really can't tell because it's goddamn small. And lastly, we have this thing. Yeah, okay, we got a new inventory item. Exciting. An antique cameo brooch. An antique cameo. You can actually open it back here. Exciting. So, if you again, if you've been paying attention, you'd know that Luann was looking for an antique cameo from the, I believe, 17th century. So she might be interested in this. Maybe we can go uh, see if she has any interest in that. Maybe she'll buy it off of us. Give us enough money for a ticket off this island. Any day now, Adrian. Whenever you're ready. You dirty, rotten, stinking, filthy son of a bitch. You stay away from my wife. Just what are you accusing me of, sir? I know exactly what you're doing here. John, shut up! I think you better leave. I just did, little fellow. Well, Don seems a bit perturbed. Just imagine if he had seen uh, us squeezing Cyrus's biceps a few moments ago. Anywho, and that brings us to the end of another chapter. So, next up is going to be chapter 5, which is one of the more interesting chapters in the game, in my opinion. As always, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And, uh, yeah. I will see you guys soon for the next chapter. Take care of yourselves, guys. Needs your help.